Hey everyone, welcome. Today we have the Tech of Artist Integral released by Sylvester Strips in 2022. It's an older comic from Alejandro Jaroski, and I wonder is it still good? Let's find out. First of all, Sylvester Strips did an amazing job in creating this book. It looks amazing and the front cover, well, it just looks fantastic. Although my dust cover is being stretched by my kitten, but well, that doesn't matter really. Amazing book. If you see it, it's a, actually a big tome and I really love it. So the question is, how is the story? Well, the story is uh, typical Jodorowsky. It's uh, based on the techno father, the techno priest in uh, America. Uh, Alexandro Jodorowsky has his elements in a story. It's about this guy. And well, the story in my opinion is very good because uh, you think this story is about like Moses from the Exodus and Actually, it has a deeper meaning, to be honest, because the story reminds me of... There's a huge pot over here. <laughs> reminds me of Google and every computer program developer at this moment. Because, um, how do you put it? It started as something good, but it changed into something corruptive. And that is really the deeper meaning of this book. The Techno Fathers started as something really good and ended up as a corrupt military organization, depending on, well, you know it in a Meta Baron, getting all the, the super space engine gasoline to fire up and go to unknown galaxies. Small Atomeso, this guy is very, very cool. He's called the Bull, of one of the Bulls. I'm not sure what the English uh, uh, pronouncement is, but he is really strong. And to be honest, I find it very cool. Um, I think the story really fits in a current uh, time because we are now in a time zone where all the, the huge Amazon, Google and stuff like that are really corrupting our minds and our time. And you can see that on one of the documentaries on Netflix. I think. Jodorowsky predicted this in 1998 and perhaps there are other people who predicted it but he really well created a really nice story about it as well. There is one point which I really don't like is he ends the, the, each chapter with I went to this zone and it's really worse than the zone before that and it's kind of, kind of tedious. The artwork. The artwork is reminds me a bit of a digital artwork, which is kind of funny because uh, if you see it, Zoran Janjetov Jan Jan actually made really cool hand-drawn uh, artwork as well. But this is reminds me more of digital artwork, which is kind of funny because it resolves about a virtual reality, a digital world. People who want to create games and let people enjoy their cravings in that game. So to answer the question, is this comic or graphic novel still relevant? Again, yeah, I think so. I think Sylvester Strips did an amazing job bundling this story into a very nice graphic novel with a very cool backside as well. And I really can recommend you to get this one. Although it's, well, 1998, it isn't that old compared to other graphic novels or stories. But the story itself, the artwork, I think it's amazing. Go grab it and have fun everyone. See you next time.